The Germantown Festival is here once again. Former festival goers David Carlisle and Brian Manis turned to first time vendors this year, sharing the artistic skills with the Mid South community. David Carlisle, former Riverdale Elementary School principal, now looks at the festival through the eyes of the vendor. Well, I've probably been woodworking for about 15 years. It was my hobby when I was still working, but being a principal at Riverdale School, I had very little time to do a hobby. His chairs are quality and made to last. This thing weighs about 45 pounds, so it's not going to blow around in your backyard. It's not going to fall apart. It's very sturdy. Brian Menes will be taking orders and creating them in his personal art studio, which consists of fused glass such as his famous tic-tac-toe boards. Now this is, um, it's a tic-tac-toe board. Um, that is in production. I have done uh, a couple of front doors for people, uh, a couple of uh, things for church camps, uh, big windows. He is new at the festival, but he is very familiar with his craft. He is a 20-year-old veteran and has done a variety of small and big projects. It's always a two-step process. Um, whenever you're doing fused glass, which is what I'm really working on now, uh, the Germantown Festival will be more fused glass than anything just because the number of hours that it takes me to do a large piece. Over 100,000 people will be visiting the Germantown Festival grounds this weekend, and these are just two of only 400 unique vendors. Reporting for Germantown Community Television, I'm Maria Herrera.